Hey guys, this is Nick from DeFace Games. As always, we're back with the best Android games for February 2020. A lot of new games released this month on Android and we selected the top 10 for you to check out. All of these games are released and Play Store links are in the description below. Let's start with our first game, Space Grunts 2. It is a delightful card-based roguelike game from Orange Pixel, a studio that has amassed quite a library of quality Android games. Since Space Grunts 2 serves as a sequel, it's worth keeping in mind that the card-based mechanics are new, replacing the old loot system from the original title. Luckily, collecting and utilizing your cards offers a much more robust way to take down your foes. So really, Space Grunts 2 serves as a polished sequel that also brings something new to the table. And it's a blast to play. Hands down, this is our favorite game of this week. Moving on to Minimax, Tinyverse. It is a free-to-play real-time strategy game that has made its way from Steam to Android this month, and it's a lot of fun to play. Essentially, this is a competitive tower defense game, but it does feel different from others of the same genre. Everything in this game oozes quality. The art, the gameplay, the ability to practice against AI, and the amount of detail in this game are unmatched. The battles themselves are fun. There is a lot of space for experimentation. The only downside is the pay-to-win aspect. If you purchase loot boxes, your team will become stronger than opponents who don't pay. Tiny is mighty. Next, Warface Global Operations. It is the latest shooter to land on the Play Store. But if you're looking for the mobile version of Warface's PC game, this is not even remotely close. The graphics are console level and you have a wide variety of armor and weapons. The matchmaking seems to be okay and earning in-game currency is easy. But also if in-game, you are matched with players having high gear rating, you won't be able to do anything while they one-shot you. Moreover, it's filled with in-app purchases and it's built in an auto-fire system that may not suit everyone. Overall, it's not comparable to Call of Duty or PUBG by a long shot, but it's a fresh good-looking shooter. Next on our list, Ark Knights. It's a tower defense gacha game that contains an anime theme. Its graphics are indeed stunning, though the gameplay offers exactly what you would expect. It has a really captivating anime style, clean UI, teaches you the ropes well, and offers a nice challenge. Each character is definitely unique in almost every trait they have, so this game is going to require a lot more strategy than your average tower defense game. Mentioning again that anime units do look awesome, but it also leaves you with a feeling that it could be much more, like the cutscenes can be voiced and more animation in general. The anime fans are already in love with this title. Moving on to Brawl Quest, Alice Brigade. It's a side-scrolling brawler game. From the unique art style, the animations, gameplay mechanics, and the sound effects, one can easily fall in love with this game. The controls work well, which means that everything comes down to gameplay, which luckily holds its own. There are over 50 levels to explore and boss fights that are definitely in the mix, keeping the gameplay varied as you progress. There are also two difficulties to choose from, which means this is a release that just anyone can enjoy, no matter their skill level. Next, Extraordinary Ones, the latest game released from NetEase Games and it's a free-to-play 5v5 MOBA, because why wouldn't it be? Ideally, this is a fast-paced MOBA perfect for short play sessions. It features over 56 heroes to play with and after you upgrade them to level 12, heroes will be awakened with powered-up skills and items. You can also do pentakills just like League of Legends. The game is super fun but it has some serious issues like the server is lagging most of the time and of course it's monetized just as poorly as every other mobile MOBA out there today. Wonderful! Next, Tabletop Racing World Tour. A few years ago, PlayRise Digital made a name for itself by releasing tabletop racing on mobile platforms while boasting that it was made by a few people that worked on the Wipeout series. Well, it looks like PlayRise Digital is back at it again. 
with the release of Tabletop Racing World Tour, a mobile port of the Nintendo Switch game that was created from the original mobile version of 2014. So if you're looking to revisit a competent racer with an adorable theme now that it's been polished twice over, Tabletop Racing World Tour is not only a great choice, but one of the few premium racers currently available on the Play Store that are worth playing. Next, G.I. Joe War on Cobra. It's a free-to-play strategy game that contains a G.I. Joe theme in order to get people to play this cash-in. The title looks and plays just like every other strategy-based gacha game on the Play Store. And so far, reviews are not that good. As expected, the graphics are great, but the gameplay suffers thanks to the title's ridiculous monetization. And it doesn't help that the gameplay isn't balanced very well. But hey, don't fret. You could always spend your way to victory. Which, as we all know, is the only point of games like this. Next, Fable Valley. It is one of the newer MMORPGs to arrive on the Play Store. And as you can see, it contains a cutesy anime theme. We liked how the scenery and characters are designed. Sadly, it would appear that performance is an issue with many users experiencing lag all over the place. Then there's the title's monetization to consider, which isn't great. Bad monetization seems to be the theme here. All in all, this is a laggy MMO that does little to self itself apart from the crowd. So unless you plan on playing for free, you can probably skip this one for better options. And last but not least, RPG Midden Tower. It is the latest RPG from Kemco to receive an English translation. And much like every other RPG from the dev, this too is a paid release. It's a great mobile JRPG for this month, and it can be played without the stress of limited time banners and or having fear of losing out. We appreciate how the game has improved since the As Divine series with the new mechanics. It is an improvement, but we guess Kemco is perfectly happy pumping out one generic RPG after the other instead of making games that people will remember for a long time. And with this, we wrap up our list of Android games for February 2020. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to see more. See you next time.